Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite drugstore products. This video would be helpful for you guys because I know when I get to the drugstore, I get really, really um, overwhelmed by all the products and I'm like, what do I try out? What I've been doing is like taking screenshots of the product description boxes of YouTube videos that I want to remember. You'll find me at Target walking around listening to Dulce Candy's video, to Carly Bible, to Nicole Guerrero, trying to look at their description box, trying to remember if this is, if this was a video um, where I heard about something that I wanted to try and that's always me and then I get frustrated and then I leave and it's just so much easier just to screenshot the description box so do you guys do that too if you guys do let me know in the comments down below hopefully I'm not the only one so if you guys want to see more of these types of videos definitely definitely let me know in the comments down below but if you guys are interested in seeing what products I would recommend that you guys try out then go ahead and keep watching Okay, so the first product that I have to talk about with you guys is a primer. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I have been wanting to try this product for so long now. Every time I would go to Ulta, I would pick it up and then right before I check out, I'd put it back because I was just very... I've never used a hydrating primer on myself because I always thought... Because I have oily skin, so I thought, well, I don't really need any more hydration. It's just going to make me more oily. And so I finally was able to pick this primer up and I love it. Um, it has chamomile and green tea and ginseng root extract to create the perfect canvas and give your skin a radiant boost. Um, what I love about this too is just how soft it feels on your skin. I thought with a hydrating primer that it wouldn't do anything except bring your skin hydration. But, but this primer actually leaves my skin feeling so silky and smooth and... It doesn't completely cover in your pores. It's not a smoothing primer, but it does give your skin a little bit more smoothness. And if you have normal to dry to oily skin, and if you're looking for a really good inexpensive hydrating primer, definitely check this one out by NYX. Speaking of primers, another product that you guys probably have seen me use in many tutorials before. This is my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I love this eyeshadow base. It works really great. A little bit of this goes a really long way and the best thing about it is I think it's like under $5. Let me just show you the color of it. A little bit of this product goes such a long way. You only need a little bit as you guys can see on the back of my hand. And what I like about this is that it really helps to even out my um, eyelids because if you have really like green or red or veiny or like, darkness around your eyes, this is really going to help to brighten your eyes, really cover over. It does a great job with holding on to the eyeshadow so that way it doesn't crease. Another primer that I have to share with you guys that I love this primer is a glitter primer. This is by e.l.f. And I love this primer because I use it with glitters. It doesn't make a move. It doesn't leave them chunky. It doesn't take away the glitter when I put on the glitter, if that makes any sense. Literally need the smallest bit of this. Like so much product comes in here. But I've had it for a while now and I'm barely like up to here. And another reason why I love it is because sometimes I'll use like super shimmery eyeshadows. For example, my um, ColourPop eyeshadows. And they always seem to transfer onto my crease just so... Uh, how shimmery they are and I don't like that when that happens. Well first I'll put on my eyeshadow primer, I'll finish my eyeshadow and then once when I and then before I put on that ColourPop eyeshadow I'll literally just tap a little bit of this on my lid wherever I want that eyeshadow to go and I'll tap it on and it doesn't budge whatsoever. The intensity of those shimmery and glittery eyeshadows last all day long. I'll share with you guys two of my favorite foundations. I was only going to show you guys one of these but I couldn't really choose between both of them so I want to show you guys both of these and I really believe in both of these products and I love them. This one, one of them is my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation and my other one is my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have videos on both of these foundations if you're interested in knowing more about these. I will leave those videos in the description box down below. But they are both medium to full coverage foundations, great for oily skin, all day wear. All these, they're both long wearing, sweat proof, um, humidity resistant and everything and I definitely love these and they are worth the money. So moving on, I have a concealer to talk to you guys about. I'm using this Maybelline uh, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector for such a long time now. I did a video on this and for a while I stopped using it because I was like, oh, it's good, it's alright. But no, I love this. This is all I use pretty much every single day when I don't want to use my Urban Decay one. And this one is just as good. The formula is a little bit more lightweight, but it still gives like medium to full coverage. I don't need to use a corrector under this. I don't need to... 
um, layer it or anything. It's a really, really great concealer and it stays put and I don't need to right away set it with powder right after because it won't crease on me extremely fast. Although you do need to set this if you do want it to stay creaseless and looking good all day long. And if you're wondering, I am in the shade Light 20. So next what I have to talk to you guys about is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. It is It reduces the appearance of an oily complexion while brightening and highlighting. And this is in the shade Banana. I love this for my oily skin. This is to bake underneath my under eyes. I use this to like set around my nose when I get oily and everything. I use this to set my foundation in like my T-zone to really brighten and highlight my skin. This is seriously my favorite banana highlighter I think I've ever used. And another product that I wanted to talk to you guys about was some NYX eyeshadows. This is their Prismatic Shadows in Fireball. I have three of their shadows that I picked up quite a while ago and I recently used this one this weekend and I'm like why did I ever stop using this like I forget I have this stuff so this is in fireball these shadows really remind me of the makeup geek um shoot what are they called the foiled shadows these are so creamy and so pigmented I'm gonna swatch a few for you guys I'll put them right here on my wrist literally with one swipe that is the color right here it's so pretty. And then I have this gorgeous blue one in the color blue jeans. I have not done a look with this, but I really want to. So this is that blue one called blue jeans right here. It's like a gorgeous Cinderella color. It's so pretty. This one I haven't even touched. I don't know why. This is in the color jaded. Beautiful, beautiful emerald green color as you guys can see right there. Oh, they're gorgeous. Of course, I picked like the brighter colors. They have really nice neutral pops of colors. I think are so pretty and would be great for like a pop of color on your lid. I love these. The texture of them, the quality of these shadows, the creaminess of them. And if you guys use those, definitely try the Elf Glitter Primer first as a base and then put those on right on top and these are just some really great single eyeshadows okay so something else i want to talk to you guys about has to do with the lips i mentioned any products about the lips so i wanted to cover that category for you guys um as for lip liners my favorite lip liners from the drugstore is the essence brand you can actually find these at ulta this color in particular is called red blush and they're just so creamy and pigmented like look at that color there's it is a pencil that you need to sharpen and I like this because it's not dry. I have lip liners that I bought and they're just so dry. They just make my lips look like disgusting. They're not pretty. But this one is so creamy and it doesn't bleed. So once you put it on, it literally sets. It's a great base. A pretty good selection of the colors that they have for these lip liners. But they're seriously one of my favorite lip liners. I have so many colors back here and I'm always reaching for them. They're so inexpensive and they're really, really great. Okay, something else that to talk to you guys about is one of my favorites. This is a long wearing waterproof eyeliner. You guys probably have seen me use this in tutorials. I love this liner. It's a nude liner, super pigmented all day wear does not budge at all and that's why I literally love this product it doesn't budge from your waterline it just makes your eyes look so bright and open and awake and if that's something that you're looking for but you don't want like a stark white in your waterline you guys definitely should try out this uh, Rimmel Scandalize liner in nude so let's talk about two more products and these are really my go-to products there one of them is a staple in my makeup routine every single day and that one is the Ardell dark brown brow pomade for so long I was using the Anastasio one that one is like around $18 and then I came across this Ardell one that is like $8 so it's like $10 cheaper and I love this pomade it's waterproof, it's long lasting, it does not smudge, it perfectly just de really defines my eyebrows without it looking too harsh. And the best thing about it is that it comes with a brush with a spoolie. It comes with this brush right here, the spoolie is on this side and then the angled brush is on this side. Always like curious if the brushes that come with stuff ever work, but this brush I use it every single day to fill in my eyebrows. I cannot go without this brush now. And the fact that these two come together is feel like is really great. And if you guys are wanting something for your eyebrows to really set them in place for them not to move, especially in spring and summer when it starts getting a little bit more warmer outside, we want something that isn't gonna make our eyebrows melt off. And this is a great um, product for that. Okay, so one last thing that I love and that I came across and this is like my third one that I've had 
is my elf makeup remover pen so i love this because it is like in the shape of a really thick pen and it is a little bit dirty because i literally use it all the time so i will use this when i'm doing my eyeshadow before i have my foundation on and if it just gets a little bit out of control right here i'll literally take this swipe it underneath there to kind of shape it instead of using like makeup remover wipe or a q-tip or tape this really works really well just to really define the edges another thing i'll use this for is my um winged eyeliner so if my uh, line gets a little bit too thick or if i want to really thin out the edges here i'll literally take the pen run it across here and it instantly just like cleans it up and i love this because you're not taking out a makeup remover or a q-tip you're not taking out all these extra products all you need is this one little pen it's very travel friendly I use this all the time whenever i mess up and i need a a quick fix i use this all the time when i need a quick fix something that's easy and will get the job done so this makeup remover pen is awesome Alrighty, guys so that is the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully found it helpful if you guys get a better idea of what you guys are looking for next time you guys get to the drugstore and want to try some new stuff out if you guys do try any of this stuff out let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below and then let me know um if you guys have any products at the drugstore that you guys would like for me to test out and see if they are worth trying i think that would be really cool series to do here on my channel something a little bit different for me if you guys did enjoy this please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all of you guys' support and i will see you guys all in my next video